here in Central Florida. Here's what? No money and no place to go. They were studying at the Commercial Airline Pilot Training School, or CAP at the Flagler County Airport. But as Channel 9's Jeff Buell reports, the school told them it's about to file for bankruptcy and has left them stranded. Yeah, they say they each spent nearly $70,000 to learn to become a commercial pilot, but they say the flight school took their money, stopped their training, and has now left them with no cash, no food, and no place to live. Oh, ben Peng moved halfway around the world to train for his dream job. We came here just with the hope of being a pilot. He and 71 others moved from China to Flagler County, signed up through a company called CAP, the Commercial Airline Pilot Training Program. It's a flight school owned by FTS International, but Peng says the company is not what it was cracked up to be. They don't have clients. They don't have instructors. They, they always lie to us. In recent months, the training has screeched to a halt. He says as part of their $70,000 tuition cap was supposed to cover transportation to and from the U.S., cover their apartment rental, and give them $70 a week for food and other expenses. Three months ago, the company stopped paying rent, and eight weeks ago, he says, stop paying the weekly money. We don't even have money. And last month, they were given eviction notices. Some of their apartments are now without power. Today, they say a company manager told them that CAP was going to file for bankruptcy. This is Jeff Field, reporter at WFTV. No one from the company returned our phone calls for comment tonight, and their gate was locked. And now these guys are stuck in a foreign country without training, with no way to get home, without money, without food. And soon they fear without a roof over their heads. We can maybe lay on the ground out there. <laughs> we don't know. What else can we, what can we do? I mean, who can we look for help from? And since this flight program was only supposed to be for one year, many of their visas are now expiring. They say that CAP promised to help them renew those visas, but so far they say CAP hasn't paid that money either. Reporting in Flagler County, Jeff Deal, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. Breaking news in Volusia County right now.